Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This week's video is um, going to be my May slash June favourites. Um, it's quite a mixture. We've got baby stuff, we've got beauty, we've got fashion, um, we've got sort of homeware. Um, so I thought I'd try something a bit different this time. Rather than just beauty stuff, I thought I would try and do sort of a mixture of everything. So if you do like this setup rather than just the beauty stuff, let me know in the comments down below and I will continue to do it um, this way. So if you do like it, do let me know. Um, typical that the day I want to film is grey and rainy. It's been sunny all week this week. And the day I want to film is grey, rain. And, well, it's muggy, it's not cold, but it's muggy. Um, but before I get into the video, if you haven't already, please do make sure you're subscribed um, down below the little subscription button is just down there um, and make sure you turn on all notifications for any of my new videos um, I have been planning some content so hopefully you'll be around to see that um, and if you do like this video then please do give it a thumbs up and a like um, and like I said if you do prefer this do let me know in the comments and I'll continue to do it on this basis rather than just beauty favourites or fashion favourites or baby favourites I'll put them all into one and maybe do them every couple of months rather than um, every month. So yes, do let me know. But um, yeah, without further ado, I will get into my May slash June favourites. So first up, shock, it's not something baby related. Yeah, anyway. Um, it's actually this dress from Primark. Um, let me hold it by the strap. So it's got some thinner straps there. And then it's, it's got some detail there. And it's sort of a mid, I'd class it as a midi dress. Um, but this was from the Central Milton Keynes branch. And it was around £18, I think. But for the weather this week, um, it's been great. Now, it does look puffier, but it's really light. It's been really, like, cooling to wear whilst it has been um, really, really hot. Um, I've just been wearing it in the garden. Um, I've worn it out on a walk with Tommy. Um... I think that's it well and I've worn it in the house when it's been a bit hot and I've had to be inside with him so it's it's really nice I just thought when I bought it I was like oh my god that's gonna be like really thick and really sticky and horrible but it's actually really nice and um, for £18 you can't really go wrong they have some other bits in like a long sleeved shirt a bikini a, like a maxi skirt that you can pair up with the shirt to make it look like a dress um, but yeah, it all in that pattern as well. And they have a blue pattern as well. Um, but I wasn't so keen on that one. I preferred this one. But yeah, that's my first favourite. Um, next up is something baby related. Now, I thought this was a bit gimmicky at first. And I probably will do a separate video on like a full review of this. Um, but we bought the Newbie Rapid Cool Set. Um, we bought the full set rather than just the single bottle. You can buy it as a single. Um, but yeah, so this you can take out with you. So you can take the flask and then the actual rapid cool system, which is another flask. It's the white one with a digital lid. So the lid goes green once your um, hot water and the formula you've mixed it with is ready to drink. Um, and it's all NHS guidelines followed and everything. Um, I've used it twice and it's a game changer. Now, obviously Tom will be eating solids, purees and he'll be weaning really soon. So we probably won't get loads of use out of this but I think once we have our second baby I think this is going to be like, one of the things that I won't be able to live without um, just having in my bag. So this in the set you do get two flasks the white rapid cool flasks but one digital lid because they do need to be sterilized the flasks not the lid don't ever do the lid um so if one's been sterilized you've always got one to use and then you've got the flask and it did come with um other items i think you got the brush to clean the lids a two mini sterilizing pots sterilizing pots powder pots uh, a big powder pot with four sections in and a bib as well for your baby. Um, this is usually £69.99. I picked it up in Boots 
and it was reduced by a third so it's 52 pounds um so yeah i'm not sure if i would have paid full price for it but i thought you know let's give it a try um but yeah this is game changing and i will do a separate video doing my full review on it because i don't want this to take up the whole video but if you are interested then keep an eye out and i will do a review on this but yeah used it twice love it um next up again it's something for tommy um now we went to his last sensory class which was um they it was the theme yeehaw week and they had these um like inflatable donkeys maybe um and tommy had a blue one um if i can i'll insert a picture of him on it somewhere around here um and he loved it literally loved it but they were uh, like 25 to 30 pounds to get um so when i was in audi one day they had these inflatable dragons so i thought it's kind of the next best thing um so i did buy it for him to sit on now obviously we have to hold him on it he can't sit on it on his own um this was 9.99 i think um although little did i know my dad had actually gone on ebay and found the donkey for 11 pounds so he now has both um and he loves both so he's got one at our house and one at my mum and dad's house um but yeah I, I wouldn't have paid full price for it to be honest um but he did love it and he went on it today at my parents house and still loves it um but yeah he loves this one too i mean i say he loves it he just loves eating it but yeah if you're looking for the sort of downgraded version of the i think they're called roadies um then these you get a dragon or a llama in audi i'll link both down below um so if you wanted to get one of them then you've got the choice between the two but they are in the bedford branch and they had loads of them um so yeah he does love this um and it does come in a range of different colors as well um next up now i know i've classed this as favorite and it's not actually opened yet um, but we do have another one downstairs, but I've just never been overly keen on the design, so I wanted a newer one. Um, so I did find this one also in Audi. Um, I think these retail, these portable changing mats, these retail maybe around £17.99, up to £20 maybe. Um, but yeah, I just wanted a bit of a, a nicer one. Um, and they didn't have, I really wanted the grey version of the one we've already got they don't do it anymore because we've just got the mamia navy one um but yeah this is a newbie one the portable changing mat they had this or a leopard print one so i thought the leopard print one probably wouldn't work with tommy considering he's a boy but um yeah i got the gray one um, and i will start using it soon but these are a game changer especially um if your child has outgrown the ones that come in your changing bags because I think they're really small and he like he's outgrown them and he likes to put his hands on like the plastic bit when you change him in public and obviously I'm not keen on that um so these sort of flap out at the sides I don't know if you can see that there um so when he's now flapping his hands about he's just touching the side of this so I think that's a bit more hygienic for him um, but yeah, this was 10.99 in Audi, I believe. Yes, it was 10.99. So a little bit of a saving there. Um, again, it was the Bedford Audi, and they had loads of these and the leopard print ones. Um, but yeah, I just think these are really good, and will probably be really good when he's a bit older as well. And I still got to change him when I'm out, and sort of backseat car changes and stuff like that. So yeah, definitely get your hands on one of them if you can. Um, next up is something for me and beauty related um so i'm not gonna lie i've been really crap with my skincare lately and my skin is paying for it um so i am trying to get back on it um it's just a bit harder now tommy's not been napping because of the hot weather and and stuff like that and he's genuinely more active so i don't have that downtime that i used to when he would like nap or he would just entertain himself playing. I'd obviously be next to him, but I'd just be like doing my skincare. Um, so I'm trying to get back on it. But I introduced this Scent Ives Gentle Smoothing Oatmeal Scrub and Mask. And 
it's insane. I had really dry skin around my nose and sort of around my nose down here as well. Now I find the like the original apricot scrub quite rough um, and I don't really like it but this oh my god it didn't even feel like a scrub but it is a scrub. Um, you do have the option to leave it on as a mask I think yeah leave it on for five to seven minutes and then gently massage and rinse off. I didn't do that yet I just use it as a scrub but yeah I love this. I think I got this from Home Bargains for $1.99 so you don't have to pay the recommended retail price like super juggle boots um but yeah i can't find it i've already tried to look for the link on home bargains and i can't find it so i'll link the boots version down below as well um so if you do want to pick it up then obviously go and get it from boots if that's easier for you but i really really recommend this and i'm going to continue using this and i would definitely be repurchasing this because i love it and it was really nice on my skin and hopefully Going forward, I will be a lot better with my skincare. Um, I will be doing a skincare routine video as well for you guys um, soon. I'm just working out how I'm going to do it, whether I'm just going to sit here like this and talk you through it, or I'm actually going to film me doing it, like taking my makeup off and going through the whole routine. Um, I've put a poll out on my Instagram, so I just need to see the results of that, um, and then I'll decide you guys have decided how I'll be going forward to doing that. Um, next up as well was a home bargains find. It was the Child's Farm um, SPF, the 50, SPF 50, and I've got the SPF 30 as well. Um, now I never bought the Child's Farm one originally for him. I think I bought the Garnier one, because um, it was cheaper. I'm not gonna lie, it was cheaper. The full size of these, and maybe even this size, I think might be 9 99 in supermarkets and in like boots and stuff. Um, and at the time I was like, no, I'm not paying that, that's ridiculous. Um, these are 99p in home bargains right now. Um, so yeah, if you want to stock up, I've got quite a few. I have probably say I've got about five or six. Um, so I've stocked up because they are only little. Um, the trouble was he has had a reaction to the Garnier ones, which I kind of expected because he has got dermatitis on his chest at the moment, but he reacted on like his arms and between like in where his elbow sort of creases, he he's just reacted really badly to it. And then I used this and there was no reaction. Um, so when I run out of my little ones, I am gonna have to just go out and bite the bullet and repurchase this because it is, um, sensitive for suitable for sensitive skin um and it's unfragranced as well so yeah i think he is just a sensitive little boy um with his skin um, and being premature probably was be to be expected um but yeah 99p i don't think you can go wrong with um next up is a beauty item um it's the vive sunset blush you can see that um, I think I featured the highlighter in my previous favourites video. Um, I don't think I'd got these through the post yet. Um, but this, I think I'd, I've ordered three. Um, and this is my favourite shade like this month. Um, I think through the year, I will probably have different favourite shades. Um, but I'll do a separate run through on that. Um, but this is shade Pesca. And it's a corally um, shade there and um, this is just really nice on sort of the nice summer days we're getting just a little flush of um, coral on your cheeks um, I love this um, I think these are about 20 pounds ish um, I will, like I said everything will be linked down below where I can um, but yeah I really like the Vive makeup line I've got quite a lot of it um, and there was a teaser released today about something new coming. So I will keep you posted on what that is. Um, I hope it's powder. I feel like the range needs powder. So hopefully it is that. But yeah, love this blush. Um, that's available on Vive um, website directly or they are stocked on Cult Beauty as well. 
so I will put both the links down below for you um, and then next up something else for me um, now I love these face pads to remove my makeup um, but I find some of them like the face halos and the ones you can get like on Amazon quite expensive um, now I have had a few bits from this brand um, through Primark it's the Alex Stein hair um, skincare range and I saw on I think it was Primark's website or their Instagram that they had done the makeup remover pads and two for £1.50 I think you can't go wrong with so they look quite fluffy and they look nice I haven't used them yet um, so I've included them but I just I feel like I just wanted to tell you that they're out there and they're only £1.50 for two I got these in the Central Milton Keynes branch um, but yeah I think they're going to be great and for that price that's a favourite in my eyes. Um, I will probably put on my Instagram what I think of them. Um, but yeah, love these. And like I said, £1.50. Even if I don't like them, I'll just throw them in the bin. I think the test will be as if they wash well. Um, but I'm sure they will and I'm sure they'll be fine. Um, next up, I've got some home wear. Um, now with Tommy's clothes we are obviously keeping them for our second baby if we're lucky enough to have one um, and if it's a boy then we are more than equipped with clothes <laughs> because I don't start buying him stuff as you've probably seen from my hauls and my Primark hauls I don't stop shopping for him so yeah um, probably be good if we had another boy but I honestly don't mind um, but for now I'm storing his clothes in the loft and I'm storing some of my stuff in the loft um, so our wardrobes aren't massive so I pack down like summer clothes or winter clothes depending on obviously the time of year um, so these storage bags from Home Bargains are a godsend so for me I get the flowery ones so I know that these are my ones um, and these come in like this baby blue colour a red colour and a cream I think and they're 179 and honestly I've got so many of these it's not even funny um so these are the ones I use like I pack down winter coats I pack down summer clothes I've packed down my work wardrobe because obviously I'm on maternity leave so I won't be using it so that's all packed away and then as and when I need it I just go in the loft and I can open the zip and see which is which and I've done the same with Tommy's clothes. I think he's got the robot ones. Um, so each bag has an age range in it. So it has gone from like tiny baby and his premature clothes through like first size up to one month, newborn as well. God, I forgot how much we had. Um, Nought to three. Um, we're currently on his three to six month clothes at the moment um, and he is eight months old. <laughs> Um, so we should be moving on to six to nine months very soon which again I will do a video for to show you all of his clothes that he'll be wearing um, but yeah I just think these are amazing so literally his clothes that he hasn't worn yet are stored under our bed in the Ikea storage baskets and then once he's worn them and outgrown them they go up in the loft and they go up in these um, and I just think yeah 179 these storage bags and they are massive when they're open and um, so we use these quite a lot and I can't rave enough about them and then I think I've only got one more item and then I'll go through the other bits with you um, so a friend of mine has currently started her own business called dot and any um, and she makes personalized denim jackets for um, children she makes personalized um, caps backpacks and she's now just started doing um, handbags like personalized handbags for women um, kind of down the lily and bean route but a lot more affordable so I will be ordering a black one and a grey one and maybe the oatmeal one but you know anyways this isn't about back but 
Um, so I saw one of the jackets she done, um, and it was like a superhero theme. Now, I love like the Avengers films, um, and Adam likes DC, but you know, I'm his mum, so I, I won. Um, and I saw one she done, which was Marvel like themed and characters so like I just couldn't resist um so I have had one made um in size Ooh, I think it's 12 to 18 months yeah 12 to 18 months so she sources the denim jackets herself um so you don't have to do any of that like with my wedding jacket I had to have the jacket for it to be personalized but you don't have to do any of that so it takes all like the fuss out of it for you um, and then you just say like a design you like so I sent her the picture of the one I liked and just said like could we do something along those lines um, and then this was the finished product so he's got his name on the back and then you've got the Hulk, Captain America, the Spider-Man and Venom face there and the Thor hammer um, it's all hand stitched um, by her and um, yes I don't, I can't remember how much I actually paid for this, it was so long ago, I can't remember how much I paid, but I think all the prices won't be the same anyway, um, it depends how many letters your child's name has and it will also depend on how many patches you want as well, um, but I just think to take the ease of like not me not having to go and get a jacket and then send it off and then get it back, um, I just thought it was great, so yeah, if you're on the hunt for a personalised jacket, you need to go and visit um, her Instagram page because it's insane. Um, this probably won't be the last I'm going to order. But yeah, he won't fit into it yet, obviously, but I just thought it was really nice. Um, and I've got my little Avengers t-shirt to go underneath as well. So I can't wait for him to grow into that. But I will link the Dot and Any Instagram page below for you. So just go and um, give it a visit and just... Um, literally private message her and she will get it made for you and it was really really quick um so yeah really love that um and then i have a couple of extra bits um like my with my monthly favorites i don't know if you um if you guys live in milton Keynes, and if you do you would have seen that the harrods beauty opened recently it's literally my new favorite place to go i haven't actually brought anything yet but i love it in there it's insane it's got so many brands that i feel like we were missing out on in milton Keynes, like armani um we used to have it in john lewis but then they replaced it with tom ford i think but now they've got tom ford in harrods as well but yeah there's a couple of duplicates there's a couple of things i think they're missing like a by terry i'm so upset like put a by terry in harrods by terry's premium Harrods is premium. Put it in there. And your global ambassador is Lydia Millen. And she's quite local to Milton Keynes, I think. Like, so, like, why? Just why? Harrods and by Terry. Why? Um, but yeah, that's, I do think that's missing. Um, so yeah, I love it. It's just the best place. I probably should go in there without my purse because I think I will do some damage um, but they have so many brands in there I won't sit here and list them all I will um, pop the link down below um, so you can go and have a look yourself if you wanted to go and shop in there um, but they have a champagne bar in there um, which so if you wanted to make a bit of a day of it that would be really nice without sort of traipsing into London um, so it's really nice just to have that premium shop on your doorstep I think if you just needed like one thing and didn't want to make like a London day of it then I think that's really good um and then last up if you are not following Perry Sian on Instagram you need to be she does some amazing reels um some amazing outfit ideas she um has quite a few discount codes that fall in the style so um always keep an eye on her stories um she also is in the Lumi Spa business, um, so she does sell those if you guys are interested in um, that as well. Um, and you can always like talk to her via her DMs and, and discuss that. Um, but yeah, I have I think I started following her in January with her Tesco's reel, which made me go out and buy 
a few jumpers and a couple of coats, which I love. And yeah, she just keeps delivering and she doesn't take herself too seriously either, which I love. So yeah, if you're not following her, go and make sure you are and I'll link her page down below as well for you guys. Um, but yeah, for my monthly favourites, I think that is it. I think, let me see. Yep, that is it. So these were my May and June favourites. So I will look to obviously get a new video done around July time or end of July for my July favourites or maybe like my June and July favourites. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you preferred me doing it like this, please do let me know. Um, and thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye guys.